Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and the Galaxy S10 Plus has finally arrived. This comes in at $999 for the version that I picked up. It's the 128 gigabyte version in prism white. So let's go ahead and open it up here and see what we've got. Now this was really loose in the box. The top felt like it was going to fall off and you'll see we have some documentation under here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. And we've got a SIM card removal tool and then some documentation. It says it, it has a pre-installed screen protector, so that's nice since it doesn't supposedly work with glass screen protectors and it's just some information. So let's set this aside and take a look at what's in the box. Now I also did get a free pair of Pixel Buds with it as well. So I have those, we'll take a look at those a little bit later. And as you can see, here's the phone. So let's lift it out here and you'll see it's got that nice white back that's really reflective, it looks pretty good. And then in the box, we have our adapter, we have our adapter to help us switch to a different device. It's USB-C to USB-A. We've got some headphones here. Let's see what this is here. This is probably our charge cable. It doesn't want to come out here. There we go. There is our USB-C charge cable. It's USB-A to USB-C. There we go. It's kind of stubborn, but you get the idea. And AKG headphones with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack since this device has one. So let's set this aside and we'll take a closer look at the phone. Now the phone itself, this looks really nice. I was able to see one in a local Best Buy here recently, uh, but that's it. Now I really like this back and it comes in different colors. As you can see, this is prism white. It comes in prism black, prism green, prism blue, flamingo pink, ceramic black, and ceramic white. And I also got, I almost got the ceramic, but I'm glad I didn't. It really was a $250 more. You did get more storage, but this has 128 gigabytes plus expandable storage. Let's take a look at the front. You can see there is that screen protector that's installed. I'll probably just leave that since that's really nice and it's hard to tell it's even there. So let's take a look at the outside of this. And as you can see, we have our Bixby button here, our volume rocker. On the top, we have our SIM card tray, little microphone. And this is all high polished aluminum. In fact, there's probably a piece of plastic I need to take off of this that's protecting it. Yep, I can feel it here. You'll see it's wrapped around the whole phone. And on this side, we have our power sleep wake button. On the bottom, we retain that headphone jack, USB-C, a microphone, and a speaker. And that's really nice in this very compact size. Let me show you a quick size comparison. So here is the Galaxy S8 Plus. So for a size comparison, it's pretty much the same size. It's a little bit wider than an S8 Plus, but the same height pretty much and maybe a little bit shorter, feels about the same weight. And for those of you that have iPhones, here's a comparison as well. This is a 10s Max. So it's a little bit narrower. It's about the exact same height, same thickness pretty much, only we don't have as much of a pronounced camera bump like we do on the iPhones. So it's really nice overall, feels great in the hand. Of course, most people are going to use this with a case. Let me go ahead and power it on and I'll go over some of the specs here. So we'll turn it on. And let's go over all of the different specs. There's quite a few to go over. So like I said, the body's made of aluminum. This has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 with the Adreno 640 GPU. This also has eight gigabytes of RAM, or it will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM if you have the one terabyte version of storage. It also has Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest. Now the display is covered with Gorilla Glass 6. That's also true of the back as well. It's a dynamic AMOLED display that's 1440 by 3040 pixels. It's 522 pixels per inch, and it's an HDR 10 plus display 
and it has that under the screen fingerprint sensor. Now on the front, there's two cameras. One is 10 megapixel with an F 1.9 aperture. The other one is an eight megapixel camera with an F 2.2 aperture that also records in 4k. So you can record in 4k from the front on the back. We have three cameras. The first one is a 12 megapixel F 1.5 to 2.4 variable aperture camera. That's a wide camera. Then we also have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with an F 2.4 aperture and an ultra wide 16 megapixel F 2.2 lens as well. Now the back cameras record in 4k HDR for video. This runs Android nine Pi. It has the one UI or the Samsung experience on it. And it also has a 4,100 milliamp hour battery that supports fast wireless charging. And you can reverse charge things like the galaxy buds. You can also order a 5g version, which is coming later to Verizon. Now, before we go ahead and set this up, let's take a look at the SIM card slot. It does have expandable storage up to 512 gigabytes of micro SD storage. You can see here, this is plastic and it's also got your SIM card tray. So it feels a little flimsy, but it doesn't move. So that's not that big of a deal. I'll put a SIM card in there a little bit later. So let's go ahead and set this up. So let me set it down here and we'll hit start. Let's look at the terms and conditions. We have to agree to the terms. So I can restore settings from say an iPhone or something else. So I'll do that. We'll hit next and update smart switch. A network connection is needed to check that. Okay. We'll update it. So now it wants me to connect to my iPhone using a cable so I can do this later or do it now. And let's go ahead and connect it. And you'll see, here's my iPhone. I'm going to connect this to this. Now you have to trust it as though it's a computer, put in your device passcode and we'll hit next. And it's searching my iPhone 10 S max for data to bring over. And mostly I just want to bring over some of the basic information such as my text messages and things like that. And it should show up on this device as well. So I'll let this run. It will take a little while and we'll come back once it's done. Now, in order to copy my iPhone data to the S 10 plus, it told me to charge the S 10 plus to 80%. So I'll have to come back and do that. Although it could have been talking about the iPhone also, but let's go ahead and set up the fingerprint sensor. So we'll hit fingerprints. We'll hit continue and I'll set up a pin. Now it's telling me to put my thumb down. Seems a little pickier than I remember Samsung phones being with the fingerprint, but that's okay. There we go. I'll add my other fingerprint. Now we'll finish this up here and wait for it to complete. This is the default home screen of the S 10 plus. Now I may change some of this as I tend to use Google apps, but let's see what apps we've got on here or applications. Not very many since I got this from Samsung, it shouldn't have a whole lot of extra things on here. It's installing some of the things I use normally, and I'm just waiting for that to complete. Now, if we slide over here, we've got Bixby, of course, I'll be reassigning that most likely when there's a software update, which is pushed out to this already to quite a few devices. So hopefully I'll have that. And let's take a look at the settings. So in settings, everything is down here. Now we have that one UI experience where everything's down here. You can use one hand to reach it. And we've got quite a few different settings overall. It looks pretty nice. Let's see if we have a software update. It says checking for update. Let's see what we've got now. It actually says I have the February 1st update. So hopefully I'll, it'll find one a little bit later. I'll check this again, but let's go back and you can see settings looks pretty good. I'll be tweaking this over the next couple of days. And so far it feels very fast. Everything's nice and fluid so far. I don't have anything to the right. It looks like, and then if we go into the camera, it looks pretty good. We have AR emoji emoji Bixby vision, of course, video. And this is what interests me the most actually, is it's supposed to have HDR video. So rear video size resolution, full one to one. It also records in 2288 by 1080 we'll going to advanced video recording. And you'll see it has a high efficiency video and HDR 10 video, which is what I'm very interested in. I want to try that out and see what it looks like. So rear video size, it's in 1080. Let's change that to 60 frames per second, 4k. And now we have 4k and it looks like we can't do HDR in that particular mode. Let's go back to 
30 frames per second, see if we can do HDR, and now we can do HDR 10. So that should be pretty interesting to see what it's like. I'll be testing that out as well. Now let's take a look at the Galaxy Buds also. Now I know a lot of you are going to comment, I'm just using a Leatherman tool or whatever. If you have any suggestions for a better knife, let me know. I'll pick one up or uh, I'd love to try something else that's a little bit different. So these were included free with the S10 Plus. Let's take these out here see what we've got here so it looks like we've got some different fittings for our ears and then in here we've got another USB A to USB type C cable so we'll set that aside and let's open these up and see what happens since this is supposed to be like the AirPods are so there we go they showed up we'll hit connect we'll allow to agree to all of these galaxy wearable i'm gonna have to change that notification tone and it says setting up your phone so it was pretty easy to pair these so it says congrats on your new galaxy buds we'll hit agree and you can manage notifications and turn them off or on or whatever you'd like so i'll come back to that a little bit later and then it says use the touchpad double tap for next or answer or triple tap triple tap to go to the previous track touch and hold and you can change the setting so we'll hit finish and I'm all set so these should work now and supposedly we can charge them on the back of this device also so let's see how that works and I don't know if it's charging but you get the idea it should charge off the back of here there we go now the lights on I don't know if you can see that let me see if I can hold it still the lights on it was charging and it may take a moment to set up but it's nice I can just set these on my desk charge it and then I'll be good to go now if there's anything specific you want to see regarding this particular device uh, it says no match so that's kind of interesting there we go I have to play around with that a little bit more if there's anything in particular you'd like to see about the Galaxy S10 Plus that you haven't seen elsewhere I'd love to hear what you have to say just because I'd love to try out some things other people are not so it keeps saying no match and I've set up both thumbs so that's kind of interesting and I know there's an update for this so hopefully I'll get that update and it improves quite a few things and it's already saying problem loading widget so we'll see what happens but let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video if not the other one's okay too as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time